Hello everyone, welcome to our new lecture where we are learning chapter number 9, Disaster Management. In the previous lecture, we have gone through the definition and the understanding of one of the disaster that is earthquake. Now in this lecture, we will be studying about the causes of an earthquake and the effects that is generated or which is the result of an earthquake. Okay, so what are the causes of an earthquake? Here you will see five causes of an earthquake are enlisted. So the first cause is volcanic eruption. So sometimes the volcanic eruption can also lead to an earthquake. Okay, that is shaking in the surface of earth. Second is stress of big dams on the earth. So definitely lot, lots of amount of water, okay, a very huge amount of water is stored in dams and that stored water is developing some stress on the earth surface and due to that stress you will observe that the seismic waves act differently and there are the chances or there is the possibility of earthquake okay third is mining okay so due to certain mining activities earthquake may occur okay and mining is something which is adversely affecting the environment which is adversely affecting the fault lines of the earth crust okay and due to that uh, lots of changes is occurring on the, in the layer of the soil in the layer of the land and that changes will result to an earthquake fourth cause is the underground atomic test okay so you know that nuclear weapons are being tested and those weapons or those missiles or bombs are nothing but atomic bombs and lots of time they are tested under the ground okay you may have seen in the movie that is pokhran also in pokhran movie that the atomic test was conducted under the ground so bomb was blast the bomb was exploded under the ground okay so such type of experiments may also lead to an earthquake then fifth reason is water percolates through the cracks of the earth due to tremendous heat the water converts into steam the steam formed tries to come out from the loosened earth surface causing earthquakes so we all know that groundwater okay which is percolated through the cracks of the earth and it goes down deep to the earth surface okay now that water is converted to a steam they convert themselves into a vapor form if the temperature of the surface increases okay if the temperature of the land if the temperature of the layer of the soil is increases so the groundwater converts itself into a steam and now the steam tries to come out from the ground and while it tries to come out from the ground it may lead to earthquakes okay so these are some causes of earthquake now let us see what are the effects of an earthquake so seven effects are enlisted the first loss of human beings wild animals and pets a very general effect which will which we will observe if, if an earthquake takes place then second economic loss at large scale okay so after an earthquake or due to an earthquake electric poles pipelines houses buildings roads railway tracks they all get destroyed okay third ecosystem destruction due to the loss of biodiversity obviously due to an earthquake uh biodiversity of any ecosystem or of the environment is affected adversely then direction of flow of rivers streams changes so sometimes due to an earthquake the direction of the flow of rivers or flow of the stream changes okay so due to a change in fault line or due to a crack in the land okay you will observe that the direction the initial direction of the river changes to some different direction okay it change its route of flow fifth reason is fifth effect is possibility of fire in cities increases definitely then sixth, if there is earthquake at the bottom of ocean, it may create tsunami waves and thereby 
लार्ज स्केल डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कोस्टल रीजन में टेक प्लेस सो अर्थक्वैक कैन टेक प्लेस ऑन द लैंड और बिलो द ओशन और बिलो द सी ओके ऑन द बॉटम ऑफ द ओशन और सीज एंड इफ अर्थक्वैक टेक्स प्लेस एट द बॉटम ऑफ द ओशन इट मे लीड टू अ सुनामी वेव्स इट मे लीड टू अ वेव्स व्हिच आर वेरी मच हाई इन अल्टीट्यूड एंड व्हिच विल डेफिनेटली कॉज डिस्ट्रक्शन इन द कोस्टल रीजन इन द कोस्टल सेटलमेंट्स सेवेंथ इफेक्ट इज लेवल ऑफ वाटर टेबल चेंजेस ड्यू टू अर्थक्वैक सो द लेवल एट व्हिच वी फाइंड इन ग्राउंड वाटर इट मे चेंज ओके एज एन इफेक्ट ऑफ एन अर्थक्वैक Now, now what precautions we should take? Okay, if we are under the effect of earthquake, what we can do? So, first precaution: if you are at home, then do not get scared, and instead of running here and there, stand still at one place. Okay, so definitely, whenever we are struck in some situation which is out of our own control, we should not panic. Okay, we should think first: what is the best and suitable way to get out from this situation or to keep ourselves safe from the situation either sit on the floor or below the bed or any other furniture and cover yourself until the movement of earth stops okay so definitely we have to protect ourselves and we can protect ourselves by hiding in a place which is strong or covering our body okay below the furniture or anything which is strong okay or anything which is hard enough to sustain the other forces okay so if the ceiling collapses due to earthquake definitely it will hurt us okay it may create some kind of injuries to our body and to prevent ourselves from those injuries what we can do we can take a shelter below a strong table or below below a strong bed okay so which can sustain the force applied by the ceiling particles or ceiling okay if there is no table or any other shelter then sit in any corner of the room and cover your head by folding your hands around it okay so head is one of the important part of our body and we have to protect it in such cases second if you are in the vehicle or outside the house and you know that earthquake is taking place then what you can do you can park your vehicle at a safe place and sit inside it okay so find a place where uh, the car is safe and you will be and you also going to be safe find such a place and park your car at that place vehicle at that place and sit inside the car only why we have to sit inside the car only because anything falls from the above okay it will not create a damage to your body do not wait near or below tall building definitely if we are inside a car we should not park our car below a tall building or below a trees or beside a electric pole okay because if the electric pole falls down or electric pole is destroyed it may destroy the car it may destroy the vehicle and ultimately and ultimately it is going to affect you okay so it is good or it is necessary to park the car or the vehicle at a safe place now what we should avoid okay if we are struck in an earthquake so we must avoid using lift in the multi stall building and instead we have to use staircase second do not sit in discomfort for long do some physical movements so if you are sitting in a corner or if you are sitting or heading in a place okay we should continue some physical movements okay we should move our hand we should move our legs a bit okay so that we will not feel any kind of discomfort then third after the earthquake there is a possibility of fire so hence we should avoid it carefully to avoid it carefully we should switch off the fan uh, switch off the main electric supply okay and we should use we should not use candles lantern or match box instead we should use torch or battery okay which are generally inflammable now 
as our own country india is a disaster prone country lots of disaster take place in our country so we have used certain precautionary measures okay to reduce the effect of all these disasters so there is one precautionary measure that we can build buildings okay which are earthquake resistant so let us see what is an earthquake resistant or proof buildings the constructions which do not get damaged due to earth movements up to a certain limit are called earthquake resistant buildings so such a building okay which will not get damaged okay which is not going to get damaged due to earth movements due to earthquake such buildings are called as earthquake resistant buildings okay earthquake resistant buildings to construct tall buildings indian standard institute has made some code of conduct so there are some rules okay before building a tall a very mighty building we have to follow this code of conduct buildings are constructed as per is 456 and earthquake resistance constructions are performed as per is 1893 okay so these are certain criteria for earthquake resistant design of structure okay and is 13920 is conducted or it is inapplicable that is for ductile detailing of reinforced concrete structures subjected to seismic forces okay so these are some advanced technology which is used for earthquake resistant constructions to get prior information about earthquake modern equipments like laser ranging very long baseline geiger counter creep meter strain meter tight gauge tilt meter volumetric strain gauge etc are used okay so to know before the earthquake takes place that earthquake is going to take place okay pehle se pata karna hai hame ki earthquake hone wala hai to uske liye hum log ye kuch instruments ka kuch modern equipments jo hai iska istemal karte hain okay so this is about the effects causes and precautions okay of earthquake now in the next lecture you will study about one of the other disaster that is fire okay so for this lecture your homework will be have to write down the causes of an earthquake and effects of an earthquake in your notebook okay so we will meet in the next lecture until then goodbye